stands for Growing for Success. We established this entertainment company at a, to bring a high level of music, entertainment, management, um, and just bring back, especially boxing. Um, hey Brian, and you are watching Waste TV. Keep it locked. Doing bigger and better things in the DMV and also working on getting myself into the Hall of Fame like this young man right here. So um, my job is not done yet. I'm still campaigning. I'm still in the ring fighting. I got a fight scheduled in a couple of weeks in Tampa, Florida. And then I'll be back fighting in the DMV sometime in September. I'd like to send a shout out to Waste TV. Notarized, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, throughout the whole world, that we are the only city that had four world champions at one time. And then, along with that, I have a great company that's on the rise right now called Ripflex, uh, with a new sports apparel, a uh, new invention called the RS1. Well, this apparel line is for everyone. And when you look at the elite companies that's out there today, uh, we are uh, w walking in the footsteps of some great elite companies. And we're, we're going to be a great company also. You know, we, we have in sports apparel. And the invention that I invented, the RS1, is for everyone. Everyone can wear the RS1. And it's built to help be, uh, burn calories, lose weight, and also build up um, upper body strength. It can also be used for rehabilitating rotator cuffs, and I can prove that because it helped me with my rotator cuff issue. So this is a this is a, going to be a great company, and we're growing right now today, and hopefully we'll be launching in the next um, 30 to 60 days. My name is Keith Holmes, former two-time middleweight champion of the world, and you're watching Waste TV. And I would like to have my sport be a academic sport in high schools right now. To have, be able to have those grades um, to be able to do a sport, just like any other sport. Because we probably have great football players, great basketball players um, out here, great wrestlers that's out here that can really do it but they couldn't get to that elite level because they didn't have the grades to be able to do it when they were in high school. I want to thank y'all for coming out, you know, showing us the love. Um, we we just well deserved. We, um, being amongst these, these world champions, uh, we all world champions at the same time, and it's a part of history that we can always talk about later on in the future. Um, Bernard Hopkins, be 50 years old, January. Me and Keith Holmes fought him. He was defeated. But that's one guy that uh, we got, this is what I always stress to the youngest coming up that you got to stay hungry. And that's one guy that stays hungry because once you reach that pinnacle, you got them goals that you're trying to reach. You can't get there and get comfortable because comfort is the enemy to success. And once you get comfortable, you're going to start to decline. Right. And, um, I, I, and I can look at myself and say I got, I got comfortable with, uh, in, in some ways and having some fun, getting, getting mixed up in the world. We can't do that. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank everybody for coming out to the event, as well as GFS Entertainment, acknowledging my career, and honoring us as world champions. You know what I mean? Uh, I look forward to September seeing you all come out and make history as the first DMV honoring the every weekend of champions. And uh, you know, I will come out here and play some golf and just hang out with all the homeboys, all the champions, Darrell, 
you know, y'all be chop, chop, keep everybody, little mark, you know what I mean? I don't want to miss nobody, but, you know, I see all y'all when I come up there in September, all right? All right, man. Champions game! Champions game! Champions game! I mean, hey, he said, so when I become world champion and fight at home, I'm gonna make sure you're the ring announcer on TV, because it's been hard for me, and you can imagine the reasons why. So 10 years after that conversation, he became world champion, he fought at the DC Armory on ESPN, and he wrote it in his contract for me to be the ring announcer. So understand, he wrote it in little tiny letters, you understand, they signed off on it. So the night before the fight at the weigh-in, we had the production meeting and he told the ESPN coordinator, he said, oh, by the way, this is gonna be my ring announcer tomorrow night. They said, no, we bringing in somebody else. He said, no, but you, you signed off on the contract last week. <laughs> Three time former world champion, but the first African American to win the flyweight and super flyweight titles, Mark Tushar Johnson. the mic last. <laughs> well, first of all, let me thank my Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. Man. Without him, it wouldn't be nothing. The Hall of Fame is like, it's an elite group, uh, elite group of guys that, uh, you know, once you did the best in any sport, this is something that you want to go to, is the Hall of Fame. Um, it's a great, um, like I said, um, I didn't know that I'll ever be that type of guy to get there, but I'm, I'm very proud, I'm very happy, but like I say, most of all, I had a lot of people to have a, you know, have a lot for me getting there. Ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at three-time world champion, Mark Two Shop Johnson on Waste TV. Shout out to Waste TV, YFM, your favorite manager. I'm Sweet Tay Williams. We had the DMV on this, man. Just everybody who's trying to make it in boxing, stay humble. Do what you got to do, man. It's easy out here. Just shout out to Waste TV, your favorite manager. What to do, baby? Shout out to that Waste TV. You hear me? Waste TV one time. Get it!